Journey gets a new captain for the day. We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. May begins with Construction Worker Day on May 3rd. This day, also known as the Dia de la Santa Cruz, Feast of the Holy Cross. You will find decorated crosses on construction sites everywhere. This one was right next door to where Journey was docked. These stayed up pretty much all month, some a little longer. Look it up because there is so much more to the history of this day and the cross. May also was DNI's 34th wedding anniversary, and we chose to celebrate this year at a favorite in Acamal, La Buena Vida, a great restaurant on a small cliff in Acamal. Sand below your feet, a stunning view, a warm summer breeze with happy hour margaritas. Weather is getting better and better as spring arrives, and that means a trip over to El Cilio. Off we go with friends, which is always the best. These are memories Dee and I will treasure, along with the stunning views of the water in this area. The weather is also allowing us more opportunities to watch the sunset on the roof at Jack's. This is always a favorite. We always meet someone new, it seems, each time we sunset there. May provided some stunningly great days on the water, and this is one with coffee on journey, and it did not disappoint. Our crew today was Tony and Annette and Jack and Kathy. The day was perfect, the seas were perfect, and the time was just too short. As the month closed out, Dee and I decided to celebrate Memorial Day weekend anchored in the hole. It was a busy weekend, but we enjoyed anchoring back and watching the festivities for the day. At sunset, we moved up to the sandbar to watch the sun go down. There is so much more to this story, and if you're watching, you can ask us about it over a beer sometime. During our time in Mexico, fishing trips have become routine. I mean, it's one of the best fishing locations in the world. Let me explain. As it was often misunderstood by people who visited Quintana Roo, what actually deep sea fishing was in this area. If you are familiar with deep sea fishing on the east coast or in most of the areas around the Gulf of Mexico, you know that to get to a deep sea fishing spot, you may have to travel for multiple hours by boat there and back. Not so in Mexico. You just go out the inlet and in less than a half a mile, you're on, in Valley over Hill? a thousand feet of water and fishing within minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Many tourists felt slighted initially until someone explained the error of their thinking. I had been part of catching several sailfish, but never on the rod for the fight. It had, if I'd never experienced it, that would have been fine. It's just watching and assisting would have been enough. Sailfish are magnificent fish and the fastest in their species. They are part of the billfish family. Billfish are the ultimate prize in game fishing. Marlin and swordfish are the others, all known by the long sword-like upper jaw. Sailfish have the large, do large dorsal fin that run the full length of their body that can open and close. When open, it is much taller or wider than their body by <laughs> almost three times. On this day, I was fishing with Danny on the deck, and Mike was above, captaining his boat, Crazy, The Solution. Dude. I grabbed the rod when it first hit and thought That's it was a, a wahoo. Fish, dude. As it first jumped, but then it breached at least six more times, right. and 
There was no way that it was a wahoo. It was fighting and running. It was a sailfish, a large one. I remember thinking about fishing with my grandfather and how he would have loved this. It wasn't a particularly long fight, as sometimes it is with catching billfish, only about 40 minutes. Then getting the quick photo before successfully releasing it back. Another of the many great experiences shared with friends during our stay in Mexico. But when the boys go fishing, this can lead to a fresh dinner. We enjoy tuna steaks and sushi this night at Latitudes. We volunteered to take some friends to the airport, and while in Cancun, we headed out to see the beautiful beaches of Cancun, and this trip did not disappoint. Final stop on this trip was Pescadoras for craft beer in Puerto Morales. Excellent. Finally, in June, we get Alex, the manager of Trade Winds, our favorite bar, and his family out on journey for the day. We took a short cruise, but it was a little too rolly, so we headed back to the hole to anchor. Each child got to be the captain. And take a dip in the water. And yes, Ashley might have stolen our heart. Danny and I both celebrate June birthdays, so to celebrate, we all got together for a cookout. We had a great time at the pool with a few drinks and grilled hot dogs and hamburgers from D. On Father's Day, we headed out to the hole and it got a little crowded. That just means more people to watch. We're always amazed at how many charter boats can get into this small area. As June comes to a close, we enjoy some dinghy exploring, snorkeling the reefs, and the Spuha beaches. Watching the kingfisher fish each day and finally celebrating my actual birthday at Latitudes with friends. It was a great evening. We flew out the next day, and yes, we might have hurt a little with a hangover, but we will remember my 55th birthday. First stop home is Miami. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, oh. We are living in the moment, life full of enjoyment. Oh, oh.